Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick overview of uh, <clears throat> APA style and uh, I think it's important because the majority of you guys are, are, are or should be using APA style. Um, it's just the one that's used by most of your uh, majors or in your intended career field. So if you haven't used it before, you're not comfortable with it, uh, I recommend you um, get comfortable with it and try to start using it now um, through <clears throat> through the, uh, your uh, project four paper. All right, so let's get into some of the details. All right, so uh, APA is American Psychological Association. So this style has been around since about uh, 1929. So it's, it's you know, it's gone through permutations, of course, over the years, but it's it's been around for a while. It's one of the two main academic styles along with MLA, but the majority of people do use APA. Um, I, I know MLA seems like it's easier to use. Um, and, and in some ways, I guess probably it is, but uh, there's really not, it's APA isn't really all that tough. All you gotta do is just do a little bit of work. Um, there are some, some differences in the way that it works, um, but overall, it's it's pretty much the same as MLA. What we're trying to do is just make sure that we can um, incorporate evidence, outside evidence, and cite it properly, and then have some type of uh, source, uh, bibliographic source, that, so that you can reference your your work. So it's just a, it's a, it's a matter of style more than anything. All right, so uh, APA 7 came out uh, a couple months ago now. Uh, well, it wasn't the fall, uh, which it's almost a year now um, that it's been out. But um, uh, the book that we've asked you guys to buy for this uh, class is still using APA 6, so I'll, I'll accept either. Um, so you should be familiar with uh, the APA 6 um, title page, and we understand the title, uh, the title page for uh, APA 6. It starts on its own page. And uh, it's going to require the, uh, the title of your paper, um, your name, and then the school's name. And that's all going to be centered about, you know, a third of the way, maybe half of the way down the page, um, as, in, as, in, as in this example. The, the, uh, the difference between, one major difference between MLA and APA is that uh, uh, for APA in the header, you're going to have running, the running head. And so that's a 50 character, no more than 50 character, uh, shortened or condensed um, version of your title. Um, of your paper that is going to be in the header and then just the page number. You don't need your name along with the page number. Um, the one uh, standout here in APA 6 is that um, the uh, on the first page you're going to have running head in sentence case and then um, that's going to be followed by your running the actual running head which is going to be in all caps. Um, and that's good that uh, running head will be on all the rest of the pages. If you see here it's got um, it shows that first page as, as opposed to the second page. Um, APA does make use of abstracts, but uh, I'm not gonna require one. If you wanna do one, that's fine, but um, I, I don't think that this paper of this length requires one. Um, just keep in mind that if you do an abstract, that it's gonna go on its own page and it'll have abstract in the title at the top. Um, all right, so the main difference in APA 7, of course, is here's an example of one here, um, the, t the, uh, the, the the title page is going to be quite a bit different as you're going to see. So it's going to have the title of your paper, the name of the author or authors of the paper, the affiliation of, so it's going to be your school, um, and then, you know, the course number, and then it'll have your instructor's name there as, as is in this example, and then the date, um, which will be your, your uh, the, the date that the paper is due. Um, also, I want to want you to pay attention to the fact that uh, in, in APA 7, which is the newest version, um, there is a difference between a professional paper and a student paper. So the professional paper is going to have that header, that running head like in, um, in APA 6, but student papers no longer have the running head. So it makes it a little bit easier, just the page number at the top. So, um, you know, that, that kind of simplifies things a little bit. Uh, if you get uh, mixed up, just um, you can Google APA uh, 7 uh, formatting style and it'll take you to the APA um, website and they have a, an annotated version of the paper there and I'll, I'll, I'll have a link to that as well uh, on uh, in Canvas. <clears throat> All right, so uh, style basics for APA. Um, first person is absolutely acceptable because you're going to be, um, you're going to be reporting for the most part in, in APA, in, you know, for the sciences and in the fields that do, you do, do use APA. Um, so I did this or we did that. It's perfectly acceptable if you're talking about a, um, you know, work that you did, research that you did or something like that. Um, we, we definitely do want active sentence structure, of course. 
and we don't need you don't need overly complicated language um, you know you're not writing a novel here you're not trying to be uh, you know writing poetry we're just trying to um, explain ideas and get those across as simply and as uh, plain spokenly as we can um, you know word choice is important here so we want to be as specific as possible about the people who or the things that we're talking about so um, like in here rather than say um, you know subjects or the you know people in the interview tell me are they do they participate or do they respond so if we're gonna you know there's a difference between that so uh, a participant of course is somebody who, who takes part in a study a respondent is somebody who just answers questions so be as specific as you possibly can with your writing in APA um, all right a little bit more so long quotes um, which are 40 40 you know about 40 words or more um, they should go into a block quote, but however, I, I would rather you not use block quotes. I'd rather you paraphrase that work. Um, that would be the easiest way to do it. Um, and then we're going to use headers. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about headers too. Um, but APA does make uh, good use of headers as an organizational um, structure for your the way that you're organizing your ideas. All right, so APA 6, um, I'll give you, these are the heading examples. I really don't expect in, in a paper of this length for you to use anything more than level one headings, which is, um, which will be centered and bolded. Um, and anything more than that, you know, then it's going to be right justified and centered uh, and bolded. But um, I, I just, you know, I, I imagine you probably will stick with level one headings, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, same thing with APA 7. There are some differences in, um, just some slight differences in the way that they, they're doing headings between level six, uh, between APA 6 and 7. Um, but don't don't worry to yourself too much with those. If you need some some of those headings, we, we can definitely help you get it formatted properly. But I don't think you're going to need anything less than I mean under a level one heading. All right. So uh, one of the the main things that APA is doing it's it's kind of taking on um, a social role or, or or responding to some of the changes in in um, social understanding or understanding of the needs of people is. Um, changing the way that they, they think about using pronouns. Um, so they they want to use they in, in as impersonal pronouns as best you can. So you can use he or she if that's appropriate. But if uh, you know somebody identifies as, as not he or she, if there's you know somewhere in between or or whatever their their um, choice is, you can use they to describe that. Or also in that instead of using he or she or he and she or those things like that, um, you can just use they instead. So um, that's helpful uh, in a lot of ways to simplify the writing that we do. All right, so now I want to talk about in-text citations because this is probably the most important part of, of all academic writing. Um, so uh, the, the key in APA is to remember that uh, your in-text citations, um, the year goes immediately after the author's name. And so that doesn't really, doesn't really matter how you do that. So if you use the author's name, um, in your actual writing, as you're identifying the author in your in the writing of your sentence, you, then you'll put the, the the year of publication immediately after in, par in parenthetical citation. Um, if you are paraphrasing or using some type of other um, device to to explain and, and or summarizing or something like that, um, you will put in par the par parenthetical citation. You'll put the, the last name of the author and um, and the year in that parenthetical citation. So there's just a little bit of a different way that you're going to do it. All right, um, all right, so I have an example here, two different ways that you can see it done. So in this first example, the, the author's last name is McCullough. This guy, Dave McCullough, is an author. Um, he's talking about John Adams, one of the presidents. And so you see that we're, we're identifying the author in our text. And then immediately after that goes the, um, the, the year of publication. And then because it's a book, I've got in kind of this yellowy gold kind of color here. And at the bottom, it's page um, 18. So we should find this exact quote on page 18 of the book. Now, if we look at it a different way, if we're going to summarize this or do paraphrasing, you're going to see that um, what I'm going to do is uh, incorporate uh, the information a little bit differently. It's still going to have the author's name, but it's, it still has the year of publication immediately after. And then because it's the end of the sentence, we're going to have that the name of the, um, I mean, the, the page number of the book in, in within that parenthetical citation. Okay, this one is, seems to be tough. I don't understand why you guys don't get it, but um, let's go back over it. In, 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 a, in MLA, you have works cited list. This is APA, so it has a references list. That's just references, that's all it has to be. References list starts at the top of its own page. All right, it's not too hard. And then you're gonna have your, your sources cited, however they're gonna be um, cited underneath. Um, remember, you need your, your hanging indents, as you see on this page here. 
Um, you're gonna alphabetize all of your entries, not too hard. Um, and then one of the changes is in a lot, in previous versions of APA, you needed to have a DOI, which is Digital Object Identifier. It's basically a, a, a string of numbers that helps you to find a specific article or something like that. Um, in But um, APA has changed that. Now we're just using URLs instead of those DOIs. So you can just use the, the you know, the, the website for the URL that you're using, so that's fine. Um, and remember that, um, if you have little Siebel or pocket keys, use it to, to do your um, formatting of your citations. Um, so that's pretty much it on AP. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, refresher and kind of give you some of the updates. If you, I see a lot of you guys are using APA 7, which is great. I'm glad you're using it. Um, but remember that the most important thing, the keys are um, get your your in-text citations and your references list are probably the most important thing. If you're doing that, then I can see that you're you're trying to um, do your, your writing in an academic way. If you're not doing you doing your in-text citations, if you're not doing them at all, that's a real big problem. If you're getting them kind of right, that's a little bit better. Um, but it's really not hard. This is kind of the whole, the crux of this whole um, notion of academic writing is making sure that you're giving um, credit to those who deserve credit for, for, you do, for borrowing their work. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, you know where to find me. Um, I'd be glad to help you out with getting your citations right. Thanks.